Thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. So here's our website, NewQBO.com. NewQBO.com. It's for QuickBooks Online, Learn and Share blog. So uh, this video, I'm going to focus on matching journal entries with downloaded bank transactions. Let's say for this example, uh, uh, you have uh, payroll. It's done by outside uh, payroll company, and uh, you write journal entries. Uh, in QuickBooks. So how do you match those journal entries with downloaded bank transactions? All right, that's the focus of this video. So video, this video, I'm going to focus use uh, test drive uh, for this video. Test drive, just click this test drive link from our website, or we have another link in here. Test drive QBO, test drive, and uh, so you can use sign up QuickBooks USA for 30 day trial. Uh, we have uh, one for USA and Canada and UK or you can just use QuickBooks Online test drive file and for this video I'm going to use USA uh, but if you are from uh, Canada or UK Australia India or Singapore you can use uh, you know those links so for this video I'm going to use USA click that one So you just have to enter uh, security verification uh, uh, numbers. This number will change, of course, every time you log in. Okay, so I'm on the QuickBooks Online uh, test drive. It's a demo file. So uh, let's let's say let's see what's in here. It's a demo file. Okay, so this is for checking account. Let's say and not match. Okay, let's say this is the one. It's not match. And let's say this is $660 is for payroll. And you wrote journal entries and you want to match it. Okay, so that's the, uh, uh, that's going to be the focus now. I'm going to show you how to match it. First, I'm going to write the journal entries. All right, let's, I may have to create uh, payroll expenses for this one. I don't think this one has payroll expenses. Okay, let's say I want to create payroll expenses. Payroll expenses, okay. All right, I'm gonna uh, add a couple more uh, payroll rate expenses underneath. I'm going to create sub account. Okay, so sub account of payroll expenses. Let's say uh, one is for salaries. And let's say the one for taxes, payroll taxes. Okay, so it's under payroll in here. All right, let's say the other one is like a benefits type, like insurance type. Okay, I'm just going to call this benefits. And sub account of payroll expenses. Save and close. Okay, so payroll expenses. So I have payroll expenses. Underneath you have uh, those three sub accounts. Under expenses. There you go, about three sub accounts. Okay, now I'm going to write a journal entry for $660. First journal entry, let's say, uh, let's say the date is on, okay, 
I gotta go back. Uh, just double click that one. So the date is not nine uh, nine fifteen for this one six hundred sixty dollars sixty six dollars so date nine fifteen so even if it's a couple of days off it's fine you can use nine twelve or nine thirteen whatever but uh, uh, it should be okay all right looks like it's not allowing me to copy this for whatever reason all right here we go I'm gonna write zone entry now. So this is 9.15. So the account, the checking account. So that's your credit. Let's say uh, $400 for the payroll. Salary, let's say. 400, right? Okay, 400. So you may have a, a bunch of distribution in here by department or, or whatever. Let's just say one uh, number in here. So I'm going to save a new. So you have uh, 266. Let's say another one. Let's say 266. And I'll say one for uh, benefits. Let's say benefits is uh, $100. Just for example. And I'll say the uh, taxes is 166. Okay. All right, let's so say you have two zone entries and you want to match uh, total, and your bank account is so 666. Okay, so now I go to uh, go to your banking center. Go to that 666. Uh, click that transaction row, and right now the radio button is showing add switch that to find transaction and this match transaction uh screen will open right and you come down and just see those two down entries in here like this see 666 altogether it's 666 for some reason uh the match transaction is on wrong date it could be very long you know you may have to switch the transaction date to uh uh, to cover that date 915 so in this case as you can see here start from 617 and like a, you know three months almost three over three months and if you have all kinds of transactions it could not cover or could be several pages so if you know the transaction date just change it let's say 915 like this Okay, now the uh, list is small, and I can just click this, 666, make sure difference is zero, of course it has to be zero, difference is zero, and for some reason, uh, they also charge a couple of bucks for some fees and stuff, then you can use the uh, result difference, add new transaction in here like this, and just add in here, let's say some sort of fee, you know, like this, just select that account and then just enter the uh, difference in there okay so in this case there's no difference 666 and there's no not there, you don't need to add any new transaction uh, no difference just save it okay so as you can see here from for it moved from for review to uh, in QuickBooks uh, tab now so if you go to in QuickBooks tab you will see that six hundred sixty six dollars right here so that's how you uh, match John entries you wrote uh, from your banking center see how easy it is so that's all you got to do just switch that radio tab to uh, uh, to find match and and uh, uh, then match it okay so that should do it for this video well uh, thank you for watching make sure to visit our website newqbo.com thank you bye